What is up guys, Arch here, and today I will do a comparison between these two CP water cooler, which is on different sizes. So might as well share with you guys how big is the difference between a 120 and a 240 mm water cooler, and at the same time if it's actually worth upgrading or not. Because today is the time that I'll upgrade my old Corsair H55 to something better. And I chose this H105 as a new upgrade, it's because I got a really good deal. So let's start, so the first here is an H55, a single fan controller with a 120mm radiator. And next is what we have here is the H105 which is a double fan cooler with a stronger pump and a 120mm radiator. And for this comparison, the CPU and motherboard that I would be using is an i7-3770K, overclock at 4.2GHz at stock voltage, and a MSI Z77A-G45 gaming motherboard with the same room temperature. And the CPU case that I would be using is the AZA. 240 gaming titan case i will put the link in the description for all the things that i said in this video for the benchmark that i would be using is an ada 64 and will be monitored by an app called hardware monitor and cpu z on a windows 10 64 bit pro all right guys so i switched to a voiceover sorry about the auto audio quality so as you can see in here, I'm using a system stability test or a benchmark, a stress test by ADA64 for over uh, 40 minutes now and I put it on uh, 4200 MHz and the voltage is still auto so and as you can see in here, so at, if you can see the temps it's like 78, 84, 83, 89, 84 that was the maximum and yeah, that's pretty much it and as you can see in here I'm using the H55 amp so in summary as you can see and technically those are good numbers and so up next in here is the H105 benchmark and same as the first benchmark as you can see in here it's H105 and as you can see it's obviously significantly lower than its counterpart just by looking and according to most users, a bigger rat actually shines at higher frequency. But I didn't get to do it in this video because I didn't have the time. But just seeing this assault, as you can see, you can actually definitely see it. And I pretty much showed the summary and obviously it's really worth the upgrade if you have the money. And for the final results, as you can see in here, the jump is really large from ranging from 13 degrees celsius to 19 degrees celsius. So for the conclusion, if you have an unlocked processor, I would really suggest upgrading if you have the money because it will definitely improve your temperatures, at the same time push your clocks even further. But still guys, what do you think? Is it still worth the upgrade? For me personally, I'm happy with my upgrade and I will never look back. But then again, thanks for watching and leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and peace.